This is Frankie Catafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho. Happy Tuesday. 616 is the time we've got lots to get to. We are starting off this morning on a very active note and right off the bat, you'll see several watches and warnings that we have in play. We have a winter storm warning now extended until nine o'clock tonight for everything that you're seeing in pink, a winter weather advisory that stayed the same, but that's going to remain in effect until at least five o'clock tonight for everything you're seeing in purple. And then down here in tan, we're seeing that wind advisory in Twin Falls until 6 p.m. tonight, and that's because winds are going to be anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour with wind gusts upwards to about 60 miles per hour. Now, taking a look at some of those Tuesday headlines for you, we're seeing that visibility in Boise right now is down to just less than two miles. It's about two miles in McCall and it's just barely two miles over in Haley. Wind gusts and Twin Falls are at about 58 miles per hour. Pocatello, it's about 43 and 24 miles per hour over in Haley. So right now, in regards to your morning commute, we're seeing that there is little to no snow accumulating in some areas, but you can expect slick road conditions and you can expect some precipitation until about one or two o'clock this afternoon. Now, in regards to some of our high temperatures for the Treasure Valley, we're looking to be right where we would expect to be. We're going to be into the, the mid to low 40s. Some places going to be really registering the, the high 30s. Snow again expected for most of today until about that 1 2 o'clock time period. For the West Central Mountains, we're, we'll see some widespread all day snow. It's going to be a little bit more impactful in our higher elevations. 39 degrees will be that high temperature in places like Riggins with 33 degrees that high temperature over in McCall. Now heading over into the East Central Mountains, same deal. We're seeing that snow is anticipated for much of today, a high temperature of about 31 degrees for Stanley, 35 for Fairfield. And if you're going to be in Sun Valley, high temperature of only about 33 degrees. In the Magic Valley, we see a rain snow mix and of course we're getting that lovely wind. Hence why we have that wind advisory temperatures though looking a little warmer, 44 degrees be that high temperature in Gooding with 49 that high temperature in Twin Falls. Now that seven day extended forecast is telling us we have lots of active weather in the forecast for us. We do have some of those stronger wind gusts that are sticking around for most of our Tuesday and taking a look at how that's going to shake out. We're seeing that at the six o'clock hour Mountain Homes wind gust again is about 30 miles per hour. We're seeing it much stronger in that Twin Falls area, but we should be pretty calm throughout most of the Treasure Valley. We'll see a little pocket of that wind starting to pop back up into the forecast about 7 p.m. Really again impacting parts of eastern Idaho. Going into your Wednesday though, this is a look at some of the precipitation. We're kind of doing a little bit of a switcheroo. We start off wet this morning and we'll kind of dry out throughout the evening. Tomorrow we're not going to see some of that snow coming until about five o'clock. You can see it's a nice fine line moving in that northeastern direction. And after five o'clock, you can start to expect to see snow falling in the Treasure Valley. We will see some of that snow falling even earlier, though, in those higher elevations. Snow expected again for Thursday, clear by your Friday heading into the weekend. We'll see it pop back up again. But then the good news is Sunday and Monday we should get a little breath of fresh air.